few months ago, I challenged McLando to a coaching battle where we would each be given a random team of platinum players, have a one hour coaching session with them, and then make them battle afterwards to see who improved more. I won't spoil how that video ended in case you want to check it out, but today we're doing it again, but with diamond players, and I'm challenging Verge this time. That's right, the professional Rocket League coach for Dignitas. Will a one hour coaching session immediately make these players better? Spoiler alert, yes it will. So basically how this is going to work is we'll each choose our team color, then we'll have the players join a team, and whoever joins that team color that we chose will be the players that we're coaching. We'll watch them play one full match against each other, and save that replay, then we'll go into a one hour coaching session where we prepare our teams the best we can. After that, we'll come back for one final best of three to see which team improved more. Who's going to be crowned the best short term coach for diamonds? I guess we'll find out. But first, allow me to thank the sponsor of today's video, Display. Disc plates, in short, are metal posters that are super easy to hang up. The great part about them is the fact that they are metal, so they're super high quality, of course, and it allows you to stick them to the wall with just magnets. Look at this, I just put the protective leaf on the wall, stick the magnet to it, and then I put the poster up there. It doesn't get much easier than that. And let's say you're like, oh wait, I just got this new poster, I wanna switch these around a bit. Well, that's super easy as well. It's as simple as just taking it off and putting another one up. I'm telling you, this is the way to go. There's a huge variety of posters to choose from on their website, so I'd highly encourage checking it out. On top of all of this, for each poster you order, Display will plant one tree, so you'll be helping out the planet at the same time. If you're interested, click that link in the description, it'll automatically get you 25% off at checkout if you order within three days of this video being uploaded. And even after those three days, the same link will still get you 15% off. Thanks to Display for sponsoring the video, now let's get back into it. I will let you choose the team color. I want orange. Okay, I shall be team blue. Alright. We lost. We lost the kickoff, we lost. <laughs> okay, some nice movement, good positioning. Pressure middle, get in their face, let them know. Both of them, yeah, both of them, get in their face, <laughs> get in their face. I love, so this rank is one of my favorite ranks because I feel like they know what they need to do, but the problem is they struggle to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the heck? Oh, no no way. Okay, oh, we're fine. <laughs> they're playing. Both teams are just playing very patient. Yeah, they're being they're very reserved. They don't want to be the one getting flamed in the comments. Big shot. Yeah, for me. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I'm gonna let somebody else get flamed. It ain't gonna be me. It's insane. There's so much I'm gonna, I want to have to tell them, but I don't want to give them too much to think about at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And they gotta be able to apply it like instantly. Right. It's gotta be stuff that they don't need to practice. No. Okay, we're lagging. We're lagging. Hold on. Yeah, we're lagging. Let's go, dude. Wait, why am I cheering? Yeah. This game doesn't matter. <laughs> we're not getting shut out. And you know, if just in case we do get shut out, it's okay. Ooh. You know what? The more goals we let up, the more we're going to learn anyway. That's true. Like, how do I help my team learn if we don't get scored on? Yeah, perfect. Fantastic. Wow, your team is perfect. You shouldn't tell them to change anything. <laughs> get in there. Good fake. Get in there. Good fake. Oh, that fake All almost right. got him. Wow, everyone's saying GG. I don't think that would happen in a <laughs> normal diamond match. No, it would not. So with the pre-game analysis out of the way, it is time to jump in to the coaching session. Overall, that was a really passive game. I like the, both teams, like from you guys and the other team. Both of you were kind of just waiting for each other to make mistakes. Whenever the opponents were moving up on the offense, they put someone right here in the corner with the ball, and then they had someone backing them up, and they had another guy like way back here. They were playing ultra safe, so that way, even when this guy did win a 50, you just had the guy back post just go for it anyway, and there was no one here to threaten for another 50. You guys kind of got away with that in this game, but I assume Verge is going to correct this positioning basically say yo whoever's in this third man position you should be right here instead so in the series later on you should try to be aware of that and that's kind of what you guys were doing too you, if you look at this you have one guy in the corner one guy here and one guy back here the only difference was they happened to make more mistakes on defense and i think this is why this was such a low scoring game is because both of you guys were playing so passive you didn't have anyone center in case that would go mid First of all, before we even get into it, I just want to go over some threes theory with you guys so that we understand why we're playing the way that we're playing. So the first thing we need to understand about 3v3s is everything needs to be in unison. Everything has to be happening cohesively. We have to be working together on just about everything. So you have to be thinking about coverage as a team, not coverage as an individual. Uh, in this moment, right, our coverage is typically in front of us. When something's behind us, we're not really covering it very well because we have momentum. So we're not going to be covering things behind us. We want to leave things behind us to the person behind us. It's much 
much, much better to leave something that's over your head behind you to somebody who's behind you because instead of backing up and getting to it, you can just keep going forward, they can keep going forward and we keep rotation moving. So what we wanna do with that coverage is spread it out as evenly as possible while keeping it close together uh, to a certain extent. We don't want our coverages to be overlapping. We don't want our coverages to be really far apart. We want our coverage to kind of be close together but far enough apart that we're all covering something different. Whenever they rotate back on defense, they are doing just the most standard clean back post rotations I've ever seen. They have one person right here, one person back post, and one person rotating behind. Do you guys know how to take advantage of normal back post rotation like this? Yeah, myself personally is cross it so that they have to try to like switch. Yeah, there's there is a there are multiple ways to go about it. One of them is definitely crossing it cross field because suddenly now this guy has to like turn around and go for it. This everybody basically has to do a 180 which makes things awkward. However, the biggest way to take advantage of it is by using the midfield here. When people are just doing normal back post rotations like this, they are leaving this midfield entirely open. Normally at higher ranks, you'll start to see people rotate kind of through the midfield into the back post like that. So you guys can look for those sort of passing opportunities. Maybe if the ball ends up going to Noah here, he can pass it off the sidewall and bounce it mid. Okay, so if we can assume it's gonna get hit forward like that and we see Aiden's all the way back, Somebody's on the ball, he's doing his job. Somebody's guarding all the way back, he's doing his job. We're missing a job here. We're missing somebody supporting the person on the ball. And so in this position, right when that ball gets hit forward like that, we don't wanna be flipping. We wanna be curling middle like this. Because if we curl like this and the ball gets dunked, we didn't go forward, we can just keep going back. But if he wins the challenge, then we can curl forward with him. And now he has support in the midfield to make a play and support behind him if he gets beat. Yeah, okay. So we wanna have that if somebody's in possession of the ball moving forward we want somebody to be supporting them so this is another thing with your guys's positioning where you have kind of layers of attacking where one person's at like the first layer one person's at the second and one person's at the third a good way to pass when you're doing that sort of offensive push is by using the backboard so you can see here it didn't result in a goal but you guys like bounced it off the backboard twice to each other Those were two backboard hits. And obviously if those backboard hits are perfect and it goes like directly off the backboard here, then it's gonna land mid. And that is super awkward for those people in net. So whenever you notice yourself kind of stacking up in these, these layers sort of rotations, put it in the backboard. Don't be afraid to do the backboard. So overall on offense, I want you guys to immediately diagnose, are we in a layer sort of attacking formation or this kind of triangular sort of attacking formation? If it's this triangular sort of form, try and look for those infield passes for this guy who's center because again they left it open with these sort of very standard back post rotations where they rotate around the play or if you notice that you're stacking in this sense use the backboard so that way the second guy can come in maybe he puts it off the backboard again and the third guy can come in as the first guy's rotating around nice you guys are killing this this side this side pass you guys are getting much better at already it's they're gonna be so confused the moment you bring like if i'm if i'm them this is what's happening every time i guarantee you they're gonna be coming straight at you. Oh, I'm gonna challenge him. He's gonna make a solo play. Who the hell in Diamond is ready for that mid pass? I assume Verge is gonna correct this positioning. If you're on defense and they start using the midfield more, you gotta be careful of that. Try and cut that off. How'd yours go? Uh, my session went good, I think. <laughs> Me too. I also think mine went well. It seemed like they picked up what I was saying pretty quickly. Yeah, for us, we I gave them three general points, but I kind of played the meta game a little bit. I tried to predict what you were going to say and then give them some tips according to that. Interesting. Okay, I'm interested to see what you thought I was going to say then because I didn't do any of that. All right. Okay. Let's see the rotation. Let's see it kick in. So something I tried to warn them about was having someone midfield. You guys didn't like didn't have anyone midfield on offense the entire time. So I was like, they're probably gonna fix that. Mm -hmm. I taught them. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Let's go, go dude. That's why I was trying to teach them how to pass. Cause like, I noticed they always sent their first man to just solo play it. Yeah. I was like, there's nobody middle to like support that kind of play. Okay, I can go against. Actually, I'm not going, I'm not going. Okay, I got it. Nice, okay, I love that, let's go. I told them if they ever, with the rotation we built, if they ever feel uncomfortable, just get out of the way, get back to rotation, somebody behind you will deal with it. Can't give away all my strats though, because oh, we have a you know, three game series. You can't go in there. Hey, they're they're just, if, they're, if they don't feel comfortable, they're just gonna leave it, okay? <laughs> I don't even know what they would do with that information. <laughs> the aerials, using the backboard? Not in, not in, Finish not that. in. No! Let's go! It's okay, it's okay. We can bounce back. <gasps> 
Yes! No. What a shot. Oh, nice. Hey, good shot. Right. Right. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We go. They they already do look better, 100%. Both like, teams, Like, there's yeah. so much more threatening on offense. The fact that there have already been three goals just kind of shows you. Yeah, seriously. The backboard. Nice. The bump. <laughs> oh, that's a good bump. That's a really good bump. I, I honestly don't think that was on purpose. Whoa, awkwardness, awkwardness. What? Oh, big save. What a save. Hit that ball. Yes. Oh, no. What that a, was a play. nice pass play. That was a nice play, yeah. Yeah, he was mid. Yeah, I, I didn't recognize where he was. Go, John Deere. Oh, yes. That was a good play. You got that? Yes. Playing your bangers all day. Great pass. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's still look a little bit, a uh, little bit shaky on the defense. Yeah, a little one-sided currently, but you know we'll get it back. Here we go, big plays. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Next game, I think uh, we know what we we know what we're doing. We had a couple of good plays too. You were ready for the for the like dunk or whatever. GG boys. No more momentum coming into the next game. Amazing job, guys. That is something to be aware of. As I mentioned, they are having that person mid now, so it's a little bit more threatening. They're punishing the backboard. They're looking to hit the ball, wait for you guys to mess up on the read, and then they're punishing. We can okay. do the same thing to them. If we're hitting it to the backboard, they're gonna miss just as much as we are. This is where boys turn to men in Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, they're aggressive. No they're way. Off. And there you go. Easy shot. Nice. Nice way to start it off. That call out though. It's unlucky, unlucky boys. You can get it back. Don't worry about it. Keep the morale up. I'm breaking rotation. I know one. Oh my fault, my fault. I bumped you. Okay, oh yeah, this is fine. Interesting strategy. You are metagaming. You're. Th this is like I didn't think about the whole game side of this. Like this is this is a <laughs> mini game on top of the game. Okay, the boost uh -oh. deal. I love it. Okay, nice good. fake. <laughs> I was a little worried there, and then I remembered that they were diamonds. Oh. No. Oh my. Where's the follow? Let's go. Oh, so close. There we go. Oh, oh come no, on, I put those in. Three whole minutes for two goals. That's nothing. Literally nothing. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, one more of those and we're back in it. We talked about that too. <laughs> of course. <gasps> what a demo. No, it was so close. You were born for this moment. What a pass. Oh! I'm going to try and center here. Right here. He took my boost. There you go. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Oh, that shouldn't be goal. Do or die. 10 Keep seconds. Pressure. Get aggressive. Oh. That was a little scary. Five, there's five seconds left, guys. Let's get aggressive. <laughs> Wait! Ah, that was going in. Oh. He wasn't gonna save it too. That he was missing that save. <laughs> oh thank God! Go oh, boys! <laughs> GG. Super proud of y'all. Oh. That was sick. Dang, that was a good game though. Yeah, for sure. Let's Dang. go. GG. All right, that's two. Best of five, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing?